Hey guys, what's going on? My name's Panda 33 and welcome back to Battleborn. Today we are going to be taking a look at Battleborn's battle plan number two. Now, I did not make a video on the first battle plan. Uh, sorry about that, I just kind of didn't get around to it. But uh, now I'm going to try and make this a weekly series where I review the, uh, you know, the battle plan for that week. So this is battle plan number two. And the first thing on this one is that there's going to be a double XP event from Friday, May 20th to Wednesday, May 25th. So from, so from this Friday to this Wednesday, there's going to be a double XP gain. So you guys make sure you take advantage of that, grind out those levels for Galt. Uh, up next are some of the hot fixes. They added a, an uh, an advanced story mode to uh, to the public matchmaking. So now you can go through any mission from the algorithm to the heliophage on advanced difficulty with matchmaking, which is a very very good. Very glad they added that. Uh, let's see what else they added. A, they fixed a bug that uh, allowed Cleese to become invulnerable, so uh, no more <laughs> invincible Cleese. Uh, let's see what else. What else? Uh, various performance fixes in the story mode missions: Void's Edge, Renegade, and the Heliophage. So, I guess those missions are going to be running smoothly. Uh, it was probably mainly boss fixes because I know uh, there were a couple of uh, glitches. I'm pretty sure those it's those four missions w that have. Uh, bosses that can become shielded, and I'm pretty sure those uh, bosses could become glitched and become permanently shielded, so if I had to guess, I'm pretty sure that's what they fixed, but don't quote me on that <laughs> in case they didn't. Uh, and they uh, continued adjustments to improve the quality of matchmaking. Uh, I don't know exactly, I don't know specifically what that changed, but uh, yeah, they changed matchmaking, so hopefully it was for the better. Hopefully they didn't <laughs> mess anything up. Uh, up next is the announcement of the first of five absolutely 100% free DLC characters coming to Battleborn. Now, this character's name is Alani. Alani is a is a is going to be a new member of the Eldred faction, which kind of surprises me because when you uh, look at her character, she kind of uh, she looks more. Uh, uh, generate to me than, uh, Eldred, but, you know, whatever. Uh, and, uh, it says here, you know, Alani is a member of the Eldred faction, uses powers of water to help exterminate her foes and heal her friends. So it looks like she's gonna be another healer, uh, probably along the same vein as Miko, but, uh, I don't know. <laughs> and then, uh, you can purchase Alani for four, 47,500 in-game credits. And these are credits you cannot buy with real life, with real money, so that is very good. This is not going to be a character you can just buy. And then, uh, you can also unlock her using a hero key. Well, what are hero keys, you may be asking yourself. <laughs> well, I'll tell you. <laughs> uh, anybody who bought the season pass or the digital deluxe version or anything like that will get a free hero key when the first DLC, or at least when Alani comes out, which will allow you to unlock any hero instantly so if you haven't unlocked Galt yet you could use it for him if you haven't if you know you ha if you don't want to spend that many credits on Alani you can use it on her but you can also uh, get these back so say you used it on Galt but then you completed all of these all of the missions on advanced difficulty and got a silver you would then get that hero key back and you could use it on another on another person and again these are cannot or at least not, they cannot yet be bought with uh, real life money, which is very good. I'm so glad that they're avoiding making this game pay to win as vigorously and as much as possible. That makes me so happy. Uh, and it looks like that is about it. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. If you could leave a like on the video, I would highly appreciate it. If I missed anything, tell me in the comments section down below, and I will see you guys in the next video.